everyone, it's Sandy Lemke from ThemePartyQueen.com. Today we're going to learn how to make wine labels in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you found this video, it's probably because you are already brewing your own beer or wine, or you are thinking about doing so, and you're looking for an easy way to label your bottles. Well, there's a very easy way to do it in Microsoft PowerPoint, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me start by showing you an example of what I'm talking about. This is an example of a wine label that I've recently made. It's very simple. It's just a yellow box. It's a triangle, a piece of clip art, and a couple uh, text boxes. So let's talk about how we do this. The first thing that we want to do is we are going to use View, Grid, and Guides. And we're going to turn on our grids to help us build these wine labels. So we're going to go Display Drawing Guides on Screen. If anything else is checked here, uncheck it. This is the only one you want checked. Say OK. And now what you have here is four quadrants. What, the reason why I do that is I am going to make one wine label in this corner and then I'm going to copy and paste it three times so, so that I ended up with four wine labels on one eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. The reason I do that is because you can buy label stock in eight and a half by eleven sheets. So when I print this off, all I have to do is take a paper cutter or a pair of scissors and cut this in four and I end up with four wine labels. So let's start by creating this yellow box in these two text boxes. First thing I have to do is go rectangle and I'm going to draw the box, the yellow box. So I'm holding down my mouse and then I'm going to let go and I've got a perfect box. Now what I want to do is pick up that yellow color. So I'm going to go up here to this fill color, click on it, and I get a few choices here. If I don't see something that I like, I can go into more fill colors and there's a lot of additional choices there. But this yellow is the one I want. Now what I'm going to do is change that line that goes around. Instead of making it black, I'm going to make it this purple color. And if I wanted to make it thicker, I could use this line style, but this is okay for me the way it is. Now what I want to do is start my or create my first text box. So I'm going to go hold down my mouse and I draw a little text box, and then I'm going to go Taylor Farms. That's just my fictitious winery name. I'm going to, in, in my version of PowerPoint, in order to format text, the easiest thing to do is to click on the border and then just go in, increase font size and then you can move your arrows, use your arrows to move it into place. Then what I want to do is I want to change the style and the one that I like is called Harlow Solid for this. So I'm going to scroll through until I find Harlow Solid, there it is. And it looks kind of small, so I'm going to increase that a little bit. And it's kind of squished down because it's so small, it, you know, it's hard to read right now, but it's just because it's a fourth of the page. Then I'm going to create my second text box. This one's going to be 2009 Chardonnay. I'm going to click on the border, and then I'm going to go increase font size, stretch it out a little bit so that it all fits on one line. And then I'm going to use my arrows to move that into position. Might be a little bit big. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to change the color by using font color, and I want it to be this fuchsia color. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to change this Taylor Farms to a different font color. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I want to go get the triangle and the clip art. So I'm going to use this auto shapes and when I click on that I get a few different menus here. The most popular one is probably this basic shapes and you can see there's all kinds of different stuff in here. Stars and banners is also pretty popular and then this more auto shapes if I were to click on that a whole dialog box would open up over here and you can there's every kind of shape you can imagine and you can color them any way that you want but for our purposes we want basic shape triangle we're holding down our, our mouse and we're just gonna draw a triangle then we're gonna move it into position that looks actually that's about the perfect size it might be a little tall 
So we're going to squish it down. If I wanted to rotate it, I would use this little green button right there, but I like the way it's laid out. So that looks pretty good. Now the color is not right, so I need to get my fuchsia. So I'm going to go fill color, and there it is right there. Perfect. Now I have to go find this clip art. So we're going to go insert picture clip art. We're going to type in the word grapes, which I've already done, and hit go. And then I'm going to get all these choices. The one that I want is down here, right here. All I have to do is click on it, and it brings it into my artwork. Little small, so I'm going to grab this corner and make it bigger. And I'm just going to keep moving it until I like how it shows up. Now you notice that I've gone beyond the triangle border, but I am not going beyond the rectangle border. The reason why you don't want to do that, remember, is because you're going to be cutting these out. You don't want this on the outside of the border because it's going to make it too hard to cut out. So just remember that when you're picking your clip art, uh, um, you know, if you don't draw boxes around, that's okay, but you just have to remember that you have to cut it out. Okay, so that's basically the first wine label. Now what I need to do is I need to copy and paste that. The easiest thing to do when you're copying and pasting things is to group stuff together. All of these are their individual items at this point. They're all on their own layer. The yellow box is on its own layer. Each text box is. What I can do is I can hold down my mouse, draw a box around these things, and all of them will be selected. Then I can hit Draw, Group, and now it's flattened them all down into one selection. And that's important when I go Control C, Control V to copy and paste this thing because now I can just move the whole thing at once. I don't have all these individual pieces that I have to move. So there's two. Now I'm going to copy, I'm drawing a box around them again. I'm going to go Control C, Control V. I've got a second set now that I'm just going to move down here. And I'm going to use my arrows to get these into position. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, so now that I have four, that's basically it. I would just print this on some label stock and I'd be good to go. So let me show you some examples really quick of some other ones that I've done just to give you some ideas. It, once you get this down, you can do anything you want. This is just three boxes, a white one, a peach one, and a Merlot colored one, and then a piece of clip art and some text boxes. This bullseye was found over here in auto shapes. I went auto shapes, more auto shapes, and I got it to come up over here and then I just changed the color of it. Then I got a piece of clip art. This is a couple of boxes. This right here is four lines. This is four lines and I copied it and this is four lines. Here's what it looks like when you actually pull it in. But let me just show you really quick how you do that. You just can go up here, line, hold down your shift key and draw a line. Then once you get one, you just copy and paste, use your arrows, put it into position and then that's how you do it. You just keep copying and pasting until you get the number of lines that you want. Uh, this is just an auto shape right here that I got from over here. Um, it's like a beveled colored box and then I changed the color of it. And it's a piece of clip art and some text boxes. These are just obviously some boxes with different thicknesses of lines, some clip art. This one's a little bit more complicated because it's got three or four different shapes and I had to use that little green rotator thing to flip it around, flip this banner around so that it was upside down. Uh, the other thing that's complicated about this is you can see that this piece of clip art is actually behind these clouds. In order to do that, you have to use draw, order, and then send to the back or bring to the front. These come in handy when you're trying to hide stuff behind other layers like this. You can see how down at the bottom this clip art is laying on top of that banner. So in that case, I had to send these banners behind the clip art. So that's really the only complicated thing about this. So that's basically it. Come on back and visit ThemePartyQueen.com. Uh, we have a lot of tutorials planned for the future, and we hope that this has been helpful.